Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another DLSS 3 slash FSA 3 video. So today we are taking a look at Starfield. So we will today discuss uh, why you should use the DLSS frame gen, which is a modded version of FSA 3 instead of the game's inbuilt FSA 3 frame generation. So yeah, first of all, uh, we will install the DLSS frame gen in the game with DLSS enabler. For those who don't know what is DLSS enabler, it's simply a modding tool which uh, helps you to enable the DLSS and the frame generation part in any game which supports it. So yeah, this is the DLSS enabler. If you have not downloaded it, download it from the description, then we will open it. Now we will click on next next now in here we will browse the game's installation directory here is the main installation directory where the starfield.exe is located so we're going to click on the address bar then right click copy this is just like previous method we're gonna select this delete it then right click paste no need to add or delete anything from here just click on next now if you have an amd card or intel card you can select this tick mark if you don't like if you have an nvidia card just select this one dll version and select the registry editors enabling the disabling uh, signature checks and click on next and click on install after the game gets installed we will dive back into the game and i will show you guys uh, what i was talking about game rental slash offline activation service basically any game you can imagine uh, i have that like call of duty modern warfare 1 2 3 star wars jedi survivor avatar Phantoms of pandora and many more so if you are interested in that you can comment down below or join my discord and come to the particular group all right uh, we are back inside the game now and right now i am using the uh, game service at 3 frame generation and you guys can see already that uh, I have increased the MSI afterburners uh, overlay a little bit bigger so you guys can see the frame times clearly like right beneath the FPS bar the graph is called frame graph which uh, detects your input latency time and like how much faster your inputs are being uh, given in the computer so for those uh, who know about this uh, you can see there are some spikes in the graph in while using this uh, FSR 3 frame generation now if i go back to the setting <coughs> display and if i turn off the fsr 3 with frame generation and instead if i use the dlss with the frame generation i am using the balance quality because i was also using the fsr 3 on the balance mode which is 59 percent so yeah i'm still gonna use the balance mode on dlss also so yeah it, if i turn on the dlss with the frame generation if i get back into the game uh, now you guys uh, will be able to see that the frame graph is uh, much more stable like previously it was uh, very unstable and uh, you know uh, the latency was not consistent enough but now the uh, latency is very consistent also uh, the image quality is very superior to fsr 3 uh, I'll put up some side by side image and videos uh, as of now on your screens. Uh, so yeah, now you guys can see uh, how much better the image looks in DLSS also. And it's uh, not just uh, a gimmick of uh, DLSS 3 frame generation. Uh, it's actually working like you can use the DLSS with the FSR 3 frame generation by this method. But for that you must have an RTX card. But if you don't have an RTX card, that's totally fine this method will still works and still help you uh, to gain some better image quality and some better uh, what do you say um, input latency so yeah this will be it for today's video i uh, hope this helps you uh, if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, you can comment down below if you're facing any kind of issue while downloading or installing the mod and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers